hey what is up guys hope you all are doing well today i'm going to show you how you can use curve adjustment in adobe premiere pro so basically what you can do using the curve adjustment you can adjust the exposure you can adjust the color of your video using curve adjustment that can be a very handy feature if you can master the thing right so first let's see how the curve adjustment affect our video right if i show you how you can do basic adjustment in adobe premiere pro select the video then go to lumetri color if you don't see it you need to go to window and from here you have to select lumetri color then this panel will appear and from the basic correction you can adjust the highlight shadow etc right if i increase the exposure then you can see the overall lightness of my video is increasing right again if i increase the contrast then you can see the difference between the highlights and the shadow is increasing right it is making the highlights more white and it is making the shadow more black so that we can get the contrast again we can adjust the highlight separately from here if i increase highlights it will just increase the lightness of the white part right you can see it is increasing the lightness of white part but it is not affecting the shadow part if you increase the shadow then it will increase the lightness of the dark and shadow area it will not affect the highlight area so that is the basic thing also you can do the same thing using curve adjustment if i show you just scroll down and then you will see curve if you click then you will see two different types of curve first one is rgb curves and this is what we are going to talking about today right so the first one from here is a white dot right just select it and then if you just change the position of this section it will increase the highlights right you can see the brightness of highlight section is increasing again if you click and drag this section just like that it is decreasing the brightness of the shadow area apparently we are just increasing the contrast of our video right this is the highlight portion of our video the top section of this curve and the bottom section of our curve is black or shadow area right if you just double click here you can reset the curve again if you want to increase the brightness of the mid tones or the mid area of your video then you need to click and drag this section it will increase the brightness of mid tone area apparently it is increasing the shadow brightness right and if i just click and drag this section it is decreasing the black it is decreasing the black if you decrease the black slider from the basic correction the same thing will happen but also you can do it using curve just reset it and let's get back to curve section and the second one is red third one is green and fourth one is blue so this three color makes a video so i believe you know that when you are watching a video every pixel is consist of three colors which is red green and blue right so you can tweak those color to change the color of your video if you select the red color and then if you want to increase it or decrease it you can just click and drag this section now we can see the presence of red color is increasing on our video and if you decrease the red color it will introduce cyan color in our video because the opposite color of red is cyan so the opposite of rgb is cmy which stand for cyan magenta and yellow if you decrease the red color it will introduce cyan color if you decrease the green color it will introduce magenta color and if you decrease the blue color it will introduce yellow color that is the opposite color of this three color again in this video you can see the presence of green color is a lot right so if i select the green color and then i decrease the mid-tone of this green color it will introduce magenta color there right if you want to increase the magenta color on the highlight section you can just click and drag this section then it will increase magenta color on the highlights area which is the sky so that is the basic thing using this three color you can edit whatever color you want on your video so that is all that is how you can use carp adjustment in adobe premiere pro i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video or learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye